guys, it's Anna Slash Bone and today I am reviewing the Ever After High Apple White Doll. She is the first version. There has been a re-release of the majority of the Ever After High dolls. I mainly like the original ones, so like non-recreative versions preferably. Um, so I ended up finding her at Walmart. Um, she was about, I think, eight, nine dollars, so she's maybe about half the cost or so give or take. Um, I guess it depends on where you go and where you find her from. But I believe they still have a sale um, at Walmart for Ever After High Dolls. Check like the discounted section and I'm pretty sure that you're going to find a couple of the original style ones and I really wanted this version of Apple White for quite some time. I have the Sleeping Time Getting Ferris version and I really wanted this one so when I seen her I could not pass her up. So, um, I'm going to end up looking at her box and stuff. I don't like to destroy these boxes. I try and keep them as much intact as possible. So, we won't be looking at the book or anything or any fancy things. It says free chapter sampler inside. We won't be seeing that. Um, but we will be looking at the doll in close detail. I love the artwork that is like on all these kind of dolls. They are just gorgeous. It says that she is Apple White, daughter of Snow White. And here's the back of her box with all the information and some artwork of her right on the side. So here is um, Apple White's story. You can go ahead and pause it and read it if you want. Um, and here's like a couple of the perks, like little questions that they had for her. Um, if you want to learn more about like Apple White, Briar Beauty, Raven Queen, Madeline Hatter, um, and then there's like the Tangle Girls, there's like two boys I think that came out with like a bunny rabbit version which I actually really want her to. Um, but if you want to read any more about these guys you can check them out on everafterhigh.com. They got like little games and little backstories and that kind of stuff on, on the actual website itself. Or you can check them out on... Uh, Netflix. They have some of the like movies, like little series and stuff um, on Netflix. Um, I know that they have Spring Unsprung on there now and there might be another one that's coming out I think soon or there was already one. Um, I've seen them all so far. Um, and then I believe they have a YouTube. There's like little short um, movie type clips and stuff on YouTube, um, like what they do with Monster High, but preferably I like Ever After High more than I do Monster High. So, um, that is her box and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get her out because she is just gorgeous. So here's Apple White out of the box. She actually came with this Next Top Villain, um, it's like a sneak peek of one of the books. Um, it was actually really easy to get this out. I thought it was going to be like really difficult, but it's really cool. It kind of like brings you in to the actual book or the storyline if you're interested. Here's the other dolls from the main line. So I just thought that was really neat to include something like that. And then she came with her gold hairbrush like all the other Ever After High or... Um, Monster Highs come with. They come with a brush that's kind of sort of along this line. Um, hers is gold because she's a royal, not a rebel. Let's take a look at the aesthetics of Apple White. First thing that is just so great and pretty about Apple White is her dress. I love her dress so much. It is a very Lolita type style dress and I love the gold embossing that is on the red part of this dress. It is just so gorgeous and I love how that they added the the bit of black with this extra I don't know what you call it but it's only the dresses a lot um, so she has almost like that royal classic feel to her and it's just so beautiful her shoes I think that's one of the main things about ever after highs and monster highs are the shoes she has gold and red shoes so they are shaped kind of like an apple with the vine along the back and then to the heel and then there is gold um, bow straps on the front and these come off really easy as well she has the black fishnet tights and here's what her stand looks like it says ever after high it's in gold and then she has this really cute apple purse 
it has almost like a studded design along all of it and it does open up I don't know exactly what you could put in this thing maybe her ring so that you don't lose it unlike some of the other dolls they don't come with anything to put their ring in so you might lose it very easily um, her hair has curls to it but it's it's very boxy because she did come out of a box and I kind of I want to brush it but I feel like that might ruin it like if it could ruin any worse there's this big area from when I was taking her out of the box that just isn't like curled at all and I kind of like want to brush it out or something because um, you can't really like <laughs> but there is some nice curls in here like this one, this one's really nice, this one's quite nice, but as soon as you like brush these out, um, I might try and give her like spa time and try and uh, use some hot water and curl her hair with some large straws or medium sized straws and see how that works. Um, if you guys are interested in something like that, um, let me know in the comment section below and I might do like a small tutorial if this turns out well. Um, the same thing needs to be done with my Madeline Hatter. Um, her hair is kind of funky. Here is Apple White's face. She has um, very cute, pretty blue eyes. And I noticed she is brand new out of the box, but she has like some weird, um, I don't know, maybe that's like a sealant that they put over their eyes or something, but there's like some weird marks on her face. Um, but her eyebrows look fine, her eyes look fine, her lips are all there, so I might be able to get that random spots on her face off, I'm not sure. She has cute little pearlish, they're gold, but they're meant to be like pearl earrings. She has a little gold necklace on her, and this is, um, it's like one of those short little, I don't know what you want to call them, they're like short little, um, jackets, I guess. So I guess this is like a jacket and it is white with little bits of gold on it. There's that detailing along the top of her dress as well as the bottom. She has a little tiny little bow ring which I see myself losing which is why I mentioned about putting it in the purse. And then she has a very pretty crown just like the episodes and it is gold with a red bow. Ever After High Dolls and Monster High Dolls are very poseable. They have joints at the knees, so they bend at the knees. Their legs move up and down. Um, their legs, they swivel, so you can turn their legs. Their arms, they bend at the elbow. The wrist. And you can move them all the way around, almost 360. And then her head is very poseable, can go backwards, sideways, probably even twist it around if you really wanted to. But she is so pretty. She definitely has that royal feel, that's for sure. So that's it for Ever After High's Apple Whites. Uh, she is the series one non-recreated version review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and hit that subscribe button below or up top or to the side, wherever it's going to be nowadays. Um, and I will see you all later. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to let me know in the comment box below. So, I'll see you guys later. Much cry love. Bye. Whoosh.